Hongiaku is a very important tarmac. It is very painful, but not so dangerous. What can happen to the opponent? He will not fall. At most, he will just feel very, very painful wrist for a few days. So it's a middle, okay, or intermediate level of violence and a very useful technique to do against somebody who I control hand, his hand. So first of all, take, separate the hand, maintain the orientation of the little finger to the ceiling or the sky, and while maintaining the situation, do this. So now the arm lock works, okay? And it has many, many uh, applications like this and derivatives like this or to the other side. When the arm lock, sorry, when the arm lock works, I want to lock the position of the wrist so it will not turn into uragiaku, which we said is a not so uh, decisive arm lock. The way to do it is control the elbow. Controlling the elbow will repeat itself many, many times. Controlling the elbow means I control the arm lock and I control the opportunities to get into a throw. Controlling the elbow means bending the elbow. This is enough, but this is a plus. I will press this Q shoe, Hoshi. That's the omote. Let's use this hand for the omote. I usually will press here, will cause a lot of pain, but also I can hit here will cause a lot of pain also. This is the origin, the place that the muscles that do this, okay, originates. And I crush the muscles against the bone and cause damage. The extensors, the origin of the extensors of the fingers and wrist. So I do this together and I turn it in two opposite directions. Applying pressure fixes the hand in this position and then he falls to the floor. 